Hi, I'm Tiam Seng. Welcome to another E3D How To. Today, we are going to share with you a tip on creating negative extrusion on a panel. Let's start by creating a panel. But before we do that, let's say we want to create a panel at a height of 3 meters. So we move the local coordinates to a height of 3 meters before we start our creation. So you can see that the power compass has changed to UVW. Let's start by creating a rectangle panel. So you can see that the coordinates are now UVW. So let's start by putting in the coordinates for the start point and the coordinates for the end points. We will switch back to the world coordinate systems. Let's now take a look at the panel from the plan view. Let's take a look at the standard way of drawing a negative extrusion. You just have to select the panel and draw the vertices of the extrusion. So I'm just going to arbitrarily create some points and I'll end the creation with a down arrow key and a finish F. So that's how easy to create a negative extrusion. And you can see from the hierarchy, a second loop has been created for our negative extrusion. Now I'm going to show you a more flexible way of creating negative extrusion instead from the using the plates negative and really it's all creating loops for those elements there. So what we can do, we can navigate to the last P loop or the positive P loop, which is the first P loop. And we can change our application to equipment application. And there we use the equipment negative to create a negative cylinder, for example. Just create any point and then gives it a height that is more than the thickness of the panel. So you can see that the negative cylinder is created. And we can even create a cone negative extrusion. So let's make our top of the cone slightly smaller so that you can get a slant along the thickness of the panel. We are now going to inspect the negative extrusion that we have created and let's use our crib to do it. I'm going to create the cut near the cone that we created and you can see that there is a slope along the thickness of the panel. We hope you enjoy this little tip and use them in your work in E3D. Bye!